So good morning, everyone. No? Uh, okay, uh, I have uh, activated or opened an assignment which you are supposed to pass no? on August 1 on Monday before 8 o'clock. Do you follow? Uh, I will discuss it again no? as I, have, I need to finish the discussion of how the, uh, the example on the analytical engine. Okay. So th this is what you are supposed to do, no? You write a program to you, you submit a worksheet in Excel okay, with four sheets, no? You use you you name it XR1 underscore followed by your surname, first name, and middle name initials. Okay. So in the first worksheet, you write the program to compute using the template, no? You write the program to compute the sum of the first four numbers without loop for the analytical engine and give a trace using Excel sheets and save it to sheet one. Okay, so this is like the factorial program. Okay, instead of using multiplication, you can use addition. Okay, write the program. Then the second one is write a program to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit using the following formula no? and save it to sheet two. Okay, I'm going to give another example for Celsius to far, uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius, no? And then compute a program to com uh, write a program to compute the average, also without loop. It's similar to worksheet one with an additional function, no? Because if you know how to compute the sum, you also know how to compute the average. Do you follow? So write it in, save it in sheet three. Write a program to compute the average this time with a loop of the first three numbers, no? Uh, you can do a, a tweak of the fourth factorial program with loop and save it as XR1 no? in sheet four of XR1, okay? Any questions? Now I have a, done some update no? on the fourth factorial program of the analytical engine. This, this is the thing that we haven't finished last meeting. No? I'm sorry, where's that? We have discussed the with loop program and the without loop, and now we are going to discuss the without loop. Okay. Uh, I've copied this from our from the original source no? from Stanford University. No? The source that's uh, Stanford University. It's from this, you know, this two. Actually, they're the same, no? One. This is the weed loop, and and there's a missing no, there's a missing uh, minus here no in between these two lines. There should be a minus because other than that, otherwise the CB11 will not work because you have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hanggang dito no later will show that without ten lang ito kasi there's no minus there. Okay, and uh, we have described another component of the, the of the analytical engine. We called the runup lever. The runup lever is the binary component. It's the only component that's binary, which means that it can either either have a value of one or zero. Okay, or zero or one. Okay, and then there should be a p. P means print and h. B means means b. And H means four, four. But in addition to that, no, I have added the following lines. No, I have added this line. Okay, so that we'll be able to print. Okay, the value of the ingress axis because what prints, what's printed by print, is the value of the ingress axis, and we know that. The, the egress val axis last value is not correct. Okay. I'm going to explain the reason behind. Okay. So let us uh, start our trace. Okay. Any questions? Do you recall this? No. Numeric cards, operation cards, and variable cards. Okay. Diba? Can you see my worksheet? Is it visible? So we are discussing the fourth factorial with loop. The advantage with this uh, version is 
we can use it to compute any factorial. We just change the first line. Okay. okay. By the way, before we proceed, no, if you look at the the worksheet done by Ada Lovelace, no, Ada Augusta King, no, Countess of Lovelace. Okay. This is her worksheet, no. Actually, I tried to work this out exactly using her worksheet, but this worksheet is very messy, but it has similarities, no. Uh, it's understandable because it does, she doesn't have Excel during those days, no. So ours is simpler because we have Excel. So uh, the same way it's arranged according to the instructions. So he has, she has operation cards, no. Uh, I, I haven't seen any, but most probably they're followed horizontally, no. And these are the variables, variable one, variable two, variable three. She distinguished between working variables and result var variables. Do you follow? So in our case, uh, our result variable is the partial product. Okay? Our uh, working variables will be V00 and V002. Do you follow? And then we have our source code here. Okay, and then we have the mill, the status of the mill, ingress axis one, ingress axis two, ingress axis one, which is the only one there, and the run-up lever. We are going to trace this so that we can trace the looping. Okay, any questions so far? So N004, what will happen to this? To V000? What do we mean by the numeric card N00 space four? It's an assignment statement. We are assigning the variable zero with the number four. Do you follow? And then uh, we have N0011 as another assignment statement. We are assigning the variable one with the value one. And N0021, okay? Do you follow? Uh, excuse me a while, I need to relieve now. Okay. Sorry now. Thank you for waiting. Okay. What we have next is an operation card. No, the first three are num number cards. The operation is a times. I've shown you examples of the number card you know, and the operation card before. Okay. Times. L001. What do we mean? This is a variable card. L001. What does this mean? We are going to load ingress axis 1 or AX1 is equal to variable 1. Do you follow? Diba? L001 means AX1 receives variable 1. What's variable 1? Anyone? Anyone? Variable one? One. Okay. From Joseph Narciso. And also from the Sid Digamon. And from Emmanuel Aguado and Cedric, Adolfo Cedric Sarilio. No? Gabriel Discipulo. No? Joseph Narciso and Frederick Fucardas. No? They got it all right. So this is this is uh, L001. So this becomes one. Okay. And then L00, what, what happens to the, this is being the second L, okay, we are assigning a value to ingress axis 2. Okay. So what's the value of ingress axis 2? Anyone? It receives the value of L00, what's the variable for? No? So many people got it right. And right away, after loading, ingress axis is computed. So it's 1 times 4, it's four and the run-up lever is set to zero. Why is this zero? Remember it's binary, it's either zero or one. Okay, why is this zero anyone? Because if you read the documentation, no? the run-up lever will become, it's either set or a reset, no? Okay, 
uh, it will become set if the egress axis is a negative number. What do we mean by set? Set in binary means one. Reset means zero. You follow? That's a jargon, okay? Set and reset, but we just really mean set as one and reset as zero, okay? So since this is a positive number or a zero, the run-up lever will reset. So zero siya. Any questions so far? Do you follow? Okay. And then we S001 of the, of the partial product. So the partial product will now become, 001 will now become four, okay? Any questions? We are going to store the egress axis to variable 001. Now, if you ask, the, the first multiplication is used to compute the next partial product. And the subtraction is used to compute the next multiplier. For example, if the current multiplier is 4, the next multiplier will be 3. And then so after that, the next multiplier will be 2. And the last multiplier will be 1. Okay? Any questions? So this part here computes the next multiplier. We do a minus L00. What's the value of this? Anyone? Okay, four. So many people got it right. No? Very simple, no? So this becomes four. The English axis one. L002, this is one. So four minus one, this is three. Right? Right? Oh, it's computed and the run up lever is set to zero. Are there questions now? Because three is not a negative number. So it will reset. And S00, so this now becomes our, our next multiplier. Okay. Now, uh, the, the next minus is used to set up the condition for continuation. If the condition is satisfied, we continue repeating the loop. Otherwise, we just proceed to the next line. Wait. Okay, we go back to the head if it's satisfied. Proceed to the next if it's not, okay? So we have L002. What's 002 here? Uh, one. Do you follow? Diba ito? One ito? Okay. Any questions? L00. What's L00? Anyone? Three. Okay. So one minus three is negative two. Now, what will be the run-up lever? One. Okay. So, so many people got it. It's very clear it's a set. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> a set will uh, give it a value of one. Okay. Now the next command is CB print 11. CB means count backwards or CF means count forward. It's actually if run up level is one, Go back 11 steps, okay? So how will we proceed? Shall we go back or shall we move forward? Backwards or forwards? Anyone? Backwards. Why? Because the run-up lever is one. How many steps backwards? It's indicated to be 11, okay? So we count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we go back at this point. That's why we need a minus here. No? Do you follow? So we will not proceed to the times, but we will repeat to the second pass back to the head of the tail, or the loop. The head of the loop. Okay? From the tail, we go back to the head. This is our second pass. Now, in order to save no? the... Uh, no. Because we have, we will need to scroll so much. We leave, we save the last values here. This is three, this is four, this is one. Okay, we are doing that so that we don't have to scroll so much. Okay, we follow. You are going to uh, follow this now. Follow this process. Use this template in making your assignment. Okay, do you follow? The next is a times, which will compute the next partial product. L001 is 4. L00 is 3, which is our next multiplier. So we multiply 
This becomes 12, right? 4 times 3 is 12. The run of labor is 0 because the US axis is 12. Okay. And we store this as 0, 0, 001. So 12 is our next partial product. Okay. And then we compute the next multiplier minus L00. Zero, zero. What is 00? Zero, zero? 3. That's correct. L002 zero, zero, remains to be 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So the run up level is 0. Okay. And then we store this to 00. zero. This will be our next multiplier, which is 2. Okay. And then we set up the condition for continuation. We do a minus of L002, zero, zero, which is 1. And L00, zero, zero, which is 2. Right? 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So what will be our run up lever here? 1. Okay. It's binary. So being 1, what will we do? Move backwards or move forwards? Backward or forward? Anyone? So this is a condition for continuation, right? If the run up lever is 1, we will move backwards. It is true, so we'll move backwards 11 steps. So uh, we'll have to uh, write the last values. This is 2, this is 12, this is 1. Okay? And we repeat to the head of the loop. Okay? So we do a times again to compute the next partial product. Okay, L001 is 12 and L00 is 2. So 12 times 2 is what? The egress axis becomes 24. The run up lever is 0. I'm sorry. Okay. And we store it to the, the 001, which is, this now becomes 24. Okay. Minus L000. We are now computing the next multi multiplier. L00 is 2 minus 1. Okay. L02 is always 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, right? So the run up lever is still a 0. Okay, we follow. And we store it to 0, 0. So this becomes 1, which is our the next, which our next multi, which is our next multiplier. That will be our last multiplier. Okay. And then we set up the condition for continuation. L002 is 1. Okay. And then L00. Zero is, what's L00? Zero, zero? This is also one, right? Meron pa ba tayong next? O, wala na. So one minus one is zero, of course. So what's the run-up lever now? Zero. Because it's not a negative number anymore, so this is a zero. Okay, so shall we move backwards or forwards? Backward or forward? Anyone? Forward na. Because the run-up lever is a reset. So we will do a times. Okay. Times of L001. Okay. L001 is now 24. We're just doing this, no? This is just an extra step so that we can print. The result L00 is 1. Okay. This becomes 24. We do a print. Okay. So 24 is printed on the last card. And we do a bell to awaken the sleeping attendant. And then we hold. All programs always end with a uh, B and H. No? Or although commonly, no, we also use P. So P, B, H ang ending. Okay? Okay, any questions? You can download this worksheet. No, You follow this template to solve your sum. Uh, of the first four numbers, some of the first three numbers, uh, average, no, the first three, with and without loop, and uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay. Any questions so far? So you have Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit? No? We'll not save this yet, no? Uh, sinong bagong dating? A couple, sir. Jose Zamoras. Can you show me your camera, Jose? So? Yeah. Makita ba, sir? Hindi ko makita. Ah, fine, sir. 
Okay. No. No. Anyone else who just came in? Aala? Oh, po, sir. Can you show me your camera? Ah, nag-data lang po ako, sir. Hindi po ano. Okay. Anyone else who just came in? Alinyo? Francis Lawrence De Jesus? Mardith Gabriel Diaz? Here, sir. Okay. Rafael Larabaster? He's, he's never been present, no? Jab Stefan Magrino? Magrino, are you there? Si Alinyo present. Alinyo, can you show me your ano, camera? Okay, thank you. Magrino is not yet around. Airol, Airol, Monteclaro. Errol Ryan. Present, sir. Can you show me your camera? Dark, yung camera mo, no? And Angelica Salamanca, are you there? Present, sir. Can you show me your camera, please? Okay, thank you. Sean Noel Tranquilan. Sean Noel, are you there? <coughs> okay, anyway, no. So, uh, so ito yung ano kay Lovelace, no? And then we have a different template. This is the worksheet of Ida Gostakin, Countess of Lovelace. And then, uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. ST000, but actually their store 000, no? Okay. So it's like this. We are converting the Fahrenheit value of 132 to Celsius, no? The Fahrenheit value is computed by subtracting 32 from Fahrenheit quantity. Whatever the result, you multiply by 5 and divide by 9, okay? So first, we have N00 assign this to variable 0 to 132 and the subtrahend 32 is assigned to variable 1. Variable 2 is assigned to 5 and 9 is assigned to variable 3. So the first card is an operation card minus L00 and L001. Okay, 00 is 132 and 001 is 32. So 132 minus 32 is 100. We follow and we save it our no, our partial result to S001. The next is to multiply it by 5. So L001 is 100 and L002 is 5. So we'll have 100 divided by 5 equals 500. And the last process is to divide it by 9. So we divide L, L001, which is 500, by L003, which is 9. It's, we have 55.56. And then we do a PBH. Okay. Any questions so far? No? That's what you do, no? Maligtarin nyo yung formula. You invert the formula so that you'll be able to do Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay. Meters to feet. Okay. How do you con con convert meters to feet? You multiply the meters value by how much? 3.28. No? Because one meter is equivalent to 3.28. Here's the simple formula. We are converting four meters to feet. Setting it to the variable zero. And the multiplier is 3.28. And our result or resulting variable is in 002. No? We initialize it with any value. Okay? So we just have a times L00 and L001. And the result is 13.12. And we store it to here. 
in our result variable, and then we do a PBH. Okay. Any questions so far? So the question is, how do you convert uh, feet to meters? It's easy, no? Instead of doing a times, you do a divide. Okay. Do you follow? No. Okay. Any questions? So your assignment, do you understand your assignment now? I hope everyone understands the assignment. No. This is due on Monday. So you have uh, three days to do, including the Saturday. Okay. No. So I hope you will enjoy this. No. You just follow the no. This is programming a very old computer. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to tell a story. No? You follow? Before we reach no? uh, the story of Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage. Okay. Uh, there were no cameras during that time, no? so the pictures were actually actually painted. You will need to hire a professional painter, an artist, in order to get a picture like this. Okay, 18, uh, 1600s kasi, no? So no cameras, no? So when Ada Lovelace is a mathematician who's also teaching, uh, in Oxford, no, the, the, the record was... The manuscripts were based on X on in Oxford, no? but Ada Lovelace is in Cambridge. You can you check that out? Ada Augusta King. She died very young, no. Oxford ba siya galing o saan? Education? Yeah, education. Mathematician. Didn't say, no? I, I forgot where I got the source, no? But the Wikipedia tells us that she was educated uh, privately as most of the uh, no, royalty, members of royalty during that time. Okay. She died very early, very young. Okay. 1833 sila. Okay. So, uh, during that time, no, uh, Charles Babbage had a hard time ask, requesting for funding from the British government because the initially the differential engine was funded, and the analytical engine stopped funding during the midst of its development. Okay, so anyway, she he developed a, a portion no, of the mill of a smaller version, no, which is a 20 digit machine. No? And then Ada Augusta Lovelace. No? So Ada Augusta Lovelace published a paper regarding the, the usefulness or how to use uh, the analytical engine, okay? She demonstrated it by giving an example of the calculation of Bernoulli numbers, which crop up in many places of modern math. Until now, no, there's, the Bernoulli numbers is still useful. Recursive ito, no? Bernoulli computation is done recursive. And so, he was able to do looping, no? Looping on this, no? 
Now, so the 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 work on Bernoulli number was known to be the first computer program. When was this? You know, 1843. It was published in 1843. No? Do you follow? This is known to be the very first recorded computer program. Okay. 1841 to 1843, an actual work. Eh? But this was published in 1843. First computer program. Now, aside from that, no, after that, no, Ada Lovelace wrote uh, Charles Babbage. Okay, tingnan mo ito, no? this is a, a, a response. Uh, no, after that, no, when uh, Ada Lovelace published the paper in University of Oxford, pala, no? <coughs> but um, Pero si Charles Babbage is a teacher in Cambridge University. These are very old universities in the in Great Britain, no? So this is a letter. This is very bit difficult to read, no? But Charles Babbage made made recommendations to, in short, no, to Ada Augusta King regarding the use of, okay, and the use of the variables, no, in her worksheet. And at the same time, thanking her for recognizing his work. No? So actually, they exchanged letters. No? They did not collaborate again after that. Why? Because Ada Lovelace got sick. Okay. 200th birthday of Ada Lovelace? 200 na ba? From 1800s? Yes, maybe. No? We have another, you know, no? the tale of Ada Lovelace. Okay. Another story. Oxford, Basia. Okay. So, as a young student, no? She got interested in mathematics, particularly binary math. No? The father is a is a Byron, George Gordon Byron is a is a Lord, no Lord Byron. So she was called Baron Byroness, Baron Byroness, no? Countess of Lovelace. Okay. okay. The Byron died at age thirty six, and then. Ito yung differential engine, no? This is not Charles Babbage, but this is uh, later. Okay? Ito si Charles Babbage, so. Oh. Is this Charles Babbage? Maybe I look alike, no? Okay. So this is the design of the analytical engine as described by, you know, Charles Babbage. He demonstrated it using a table of logarithms. Okay, this is the design of the analytical engine. Okay. So they collaborated, no? By you know, uh, it's a misfortune. It's a bad. It's a misfortune to realize that. No? Uh, Ada Lovelace died at, the, at an early age, so that more work could have been done okay, on the analytical engine. Okay, the dark reality about the analytical engine is when Ada Lovelace died, nobody paid interest on the work anymore. Do you follow? So, computing technology entered into another dark age. Okay, do you follow? What followed Charles Babbage engines? So ito yun, no? This is, uh, now the actual difference engine was built in the 1990s by a university, no? Just for demonstration purposes, no? 
designed in 1930s and a small version. The analytical engine was designed in 1830s, 1837. Okay. And then was implemented by Babbage himself using a small version, okay. a stripped down version that can manipulate uh, 20 decimal numbers. No? So here's the list. No? Uh, we describe it in terms of uh, when was what it what was it first operational, the number system that is used, the computing mechanism, the generation to where it belongs, how programming is done, Turing complete, and what memory is used. No, uh, Turing complete means it's 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 theoretically complete that it can be it can be. Uh, it's all its behaviors can be described. Do you follow? No? When you say a machine machine is Turing complete, the behavior can be mapped out. Okay? Of the machine. So describe. Yeah. When you say it's incomplete, there are behaviors that cannot be described, that cannot be predicted. <coughs> so for example, <coughs> 1830s, no? The difference engine, which is uses a binary a decimal system, mechanical. It's not programmable, but uses um, a memory of using uh, wheels. No, it's not Turing complete. The analytical engine is decimal, mechanical, and can be controlled by punch cards. No, programmable, and it's considered by Turing to be complete. It also uses the, a store of wheels in axis. Okay. Any questions? No. Now, Ludgate in 1909 tried to assemble uh, the uh, assemble the mechan the analytical engine itself. No, now instead of using you know, uh, instead of using uh, mechanical wheels, it uses physical state of rods, magnetic rods. No, there's no complete documentation, but th this this is used. It's still mechanical. No but uses magnetic rods for memory, okay? Excuse me a while, I need to... Okay, I'm sorry, no. So, okay. And then there's a very wide gap, no? Between the next important computer, which is in 1939. So from 1837 to 1939, computing technology went into a dark age. Not until, no? In 1939, Konrad Zuss in Germany, no? Created a... Z1. This is the Z1, no? It's a mechanical computer, no? Okay. The Z1 is a mechanical, but this is a binary computer. Do you follow? In fact, this is very popular, no? Uh, the sad thing is, we don't have an actual doc documentation on how to program this. Wala tayong ano eh, no? Can we have uh, programming the Z1? In a way, no? Yun lang, no? There's not much. So, hindi natin ito ma-demonstrate, no? <coughs> this is a, a a version, no? This is a mechanical version, but this time it uses binary numbers and floating point, no? That, not fixed point, no? And then, the programming is controlled by 35 millimeter films. Instead of using 
cards. It now uses uh, films, no? picture films. So instead of rolling them in a in a stack of cards, the films are read by one one by uh, one by one by an electrical reader. No, nineteen thirty nine. There's already electricity. No, physical state of rods, magnetic rods. Then, but there's a problem with Turing completeness. Okay. Now later, no, Conrad Seuss transferred to Poland. Do you follow? Oh, no, by the way, no, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. No? Later, no, in 1939, about the same time, no, an invention, a new computer called the bomb was invented in Poland, no, in 1939, but was transferred to the UK in 1940. No, it was not yet complete, but it was completed in 1940. The bomb is a secret project during the war. Do you follow? It is said that the original inventor is Alan Turing. No, can we, you know, can we Google that? Okay. Ito, no? Okay. Bomba in in Polish. No? Okay. By Alan Turing. No? The initial design was brought in 1939 at the UK Government Code and Cipher School at Bletchley Park by Alan Turing. No? But where is Bletchley Park? Bletchley Park is a secret location in the UK for a certain project by the UK government okay, to decipher messages sent by Germans during the World War II. Okay, remember the Second World War started in about 1938 or 1939, no? And then, uh, of course, no? the soldiers send messages in the field, written messages, no? And in order for the messages to be to be blocked or to be intercepted by the enemy, they encode it. No? The Germans were using an encoding machine called the Enigma machine. Okay, so in response to that. The British government assembled a team okay, of scientists and mat mathematicians tasked to hack the code. Okay? And they were successful. No? In fact, that was what Alan Turing was famous of. No? He is accredited to be the main source of the victory of the Second World War in Europe. No? It was said that because Alan Turing was able to hack the Enigma machine, no? and of course his team, no? The world, the Second World War was shortened by by several years, no, because they were able to intercept, no, the messages and at the same time, no, anticipate the moves of the German army, the Nazis, no, during the time. Okay, so this is called the bomb in 1939 and was transferred to UK. We will look at this again, no, when we study the life of, uh, no. This is, by the way, the Enigma machine. No? Ito, no? You, you will set a code so, such that every time everything that you type will be replaced by an encoded message. It's like a typewriter. Okay, There's a keyboard, there's a plugboard, and then uh, is there a printer? There should be a printer. No? Okay. Okay. So ito yung the bomb computer. No? The bomb computer was used to hasten the decoding process. Okay? The hacking process. So this was used by, by and later it was transferred to the US in May 1943. No? Okay. Conrad Seuss de developed a second version. This time it's electromechanical version of the Z1 computer. It's also controlled using punch Film, uh, film film stocks no okay but it's still not Turing complete now in May 9, 1941 no Conrad Zeus developed the elect an electromechanical version also no because me the the memory is now using mechanical relays no okay it's like a transistor 
we follow a modern transistor which can uh, store a value, a binary value. So it still uses a binary flow floating point. Okay? Do you follow? Now, about at the same time, there was an important development and controversial development in the US. It's called the Atanasov Very Computer. It's the first electronic digital computer. Electronic na ito, which means it's not electrical. The problem is it's not con configurable, it's not programmable, but uses a capacitive memory, like the memory we are using now, no? capacitor-based. Okay. A ton of software computer. Uh, anong ka, ka na to? Iowa State, I think, no? Oh, yes, Iowa State, no? This is a the ABC computer first known to be the known to be the first electronic binary computer. Okay, invented invented by John Vincent Atanasoff and Clifford Berry from Iowa State University. Do you follow? Okay. But it has the main components of the mill, no? It has a CPU. It has a memory made of capacitors. But it was dedicated only for one purpose, no? Uh, okay. Anong gamit ng, ano? Ng Atanas of Very Computer? Okay. It has an arithmetic logic unit, no? Okay. It was com completed in 1942 by Clifford and Berry okay, at Iowa State University. It uses binary digits. This is the memory of using uh, capacit capacitors no? and vacuum tubes. Okay. I think this is practically used to evaluate polynomials. No? It's not programmable. Okay. You follow? This, this became very controversial because there was a debate on who really invented the first electronic computer in the US. No? Nowadays, the very first inventor of an electronic digital computer in the US is considered to be John Van Vincent Atanasov, although it was, and Clifford Berry, although it was initially claimed by J. Prasper Eckert and John Mockley, the inventor of INIAC. So there was a patent uh, a patent suit in fact there was a court you no know, a court uh, investigation and a court proceeding which determined who owns the patent of a digital computer do you follow so my dalawang contenders there are two contenders of the patent you no know, of the first digital computer there actually there are three first this, this was there was a Vincent of uh, Atanasov and Berry, and this, there was Presper Eckert and John Mockley and John Van Vince, uh, John Van Neumann. Tatlo silang nag-aagawan dyan. Okay. Nowadays, no, uh, the very first electronic computer is attributed to uh, uh, B Clifford Berry and uh, no, Atanasov and Berry, particularly John Vincent Atanasov. Okay. But the stored program concept, which is the modern the, the the architecture that we are still using nowadays, is accredited to John van Neumann. Okay, so John van Neumann is from is a mathematician and physicist from uh, Princeton University, and uh, Clifford rather Presper Eckert and I know. And uh, no, uh, Pencil, Penn State University, no? Moore School of Engineering, J. Presper Eckert and John Mockley. Because during those times in the US, no, the main sources of computing technology are the universities. No? There are several uh, no, leading universities there. For particularly, you have Iowa State, where ben Atanasov and Berry came from. There's Penn State, Penn State University, Pennsylvania, Moore School of Engineering. Okay where Presper Eckert and Mockley came from. There's Princeton College, okay, where, uh, where John Van Neumann came from. And there's, I, uh, there's Harvard, Mark, no? where, uh, where actually see Presper Eckert and John Mockley also affiliated with, with uh, IBM, no? 
uh, rather uh, uh, Harvard, no? Harvard, which became the first affiliate of IBM because the first computer produced by IBM was used by Harvard. No? <clears throat> Do you follow? So four universities, no? Iowa State, Penn, Penn State, you have uh, Princeton, Princeton College, and you have I, uh, Harvard, no? Do you follow? Colossus Mark I was first invented in the US. It's a binary electronic computer in the UK, by the way, no? And Harvard Mark I, all, there's no name, relation in name, no? Was the first IBM mechanical computer, okay? Developed in Harvard and used also by Harvard. It's an electromechanical computer. It uses mechanical relays for its memory. But the problem with the Harvard Mark I, it is still decimal. Do you follow? Z4 was released in 1948 or 49, no? In Germany. Okay. Now, by 1946, okay? Another important, no, and another important development came about. Okay, it's called INIAC. It came from Pennsylvania State, Penn State University. It's an electronic computer. We will look at this, no? We may not pro program this. INIAC, no? it's called Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. Do you follow? No? It was originally. Uh, developed for the United States Army. Okay. They follow but it was developed at the University of Pennsylvania no? at Moore School of Engineering. Philadelphia ito, no? it's, it's also near Boston. Boston is where IBM, rather Harvard and uh, many others came from. No? So INYAP was completed in 1945. No? So tapos na yung World War no? going to then. So the bomb was already used no? as the main device to hack the Enigma machine codes. Okay. So INYAC stands for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator. It is a, bi a decimal, rather a decimal computer. Ito, no? Do you follow? Do you follow? Inverted, invented by... J. Presper Eckert and John Moakley. They are mathematicians and physicists teaching at the University of Pennsylvania. Okay. So it costs very high. No? It has a very high cost because of the... This is the actual picture of the INIAC. No? Plus including the plug boards. It doesn't use a keyboard. It use, uses plug boards. And it has no re memory reader. So it has to be programmed manually by switching the plug boards. Okay, do you follow? Later, no, a second version was developed by Presper Eckert and Moakley. It's called the EDVAC. Medyo controversial itong EDVAC because it was also at the same time released with, ano, nagunahan sila. There was a race to invent the first digital computer in the US, no? Although the, the digital computer was already invented. In Germany, by Konrad Zeus. No? So, uh, Presper Eckert and Moakley released the EDVAC later. No? But almost at the same time, you know, John van Neumann also released the IAS computer. But, because these are the two computers which are known to be the store program concept computers. But the development of the store program concept was attributed to John van Neumann. The story was that you know, John van Neumann was actually a consultant to the, the EDVAC, development of the EDVAC, I think. No? And, and, and at, le at least many people believe that he's the main source of the EDVAC design. Because before no, before the EDVAC was released, no, John van Neumann released that uh re released a document, no, or a re uh, confirming a report on the architecture of the EDVAC. Siya yung nag-describe ng EDVAC. Although the EDVAC was currently being developed by, or was claimed by J. Presper Eckert and uh, John Mockley. Do you follow? 
So anyway, before we go into that, we'll just proceed. No? So Inyak was, de was developed. No? And then in 1948, Manchester Baby was developed in the UK. This was uh, uh, an offshoot of the bomb. No? You follow? This is the first computer that uses Williams cathode ray tube. The Inyak uses vacuum tube triode flip-flops. What are the difference? Yung mga Williams tubes are uh, smaller. Ito na. No? Di follow? Pero malaki pa rin. Okay. Williams cathode ray tubes. The thing with this is it's binary. No? Now, this is the com first computer with a keyboard. Di follow? The first computer with a key keyboard is Manchester Baby. Okay? The first computer, electronic computer, is known to be in Yak. Okay? Do you follow? Any questions so far? I'd like you to look at these videos. No? The video of Atanasov and Barry about the ABC computer. Okay? Uh, the, in Yak, before we do that, let's go to look at the Inyak. 1948 ba? 1946, no? At Penn State. This is what the INYAC is. This was developed during the Second World War. So that uh, no men were, no, not much men were around to program this, this. The programmers were all women. Okay? So let's look at the, no, the program. We are not, we're not going to program this, no? It's very difficult. You cannot write the program in a source code because it's done on a plug board. Okay. Intended for the army. Ballistic research. Okay. You look at this video, no? Okay. Let's look at the design of the INIA. Okay. The INIA is very much like the analytical engine. Do you follow? Bakit walang documentation? No? Okay. The main, it has a set of uh, counters and register. Ito no? Okay. The input here was used using an IBM card reader or an IBM punch card already developed during the time by Herman Hollery. Remember that's what, that the punch card was developed during the late 1800s, no? 1887, 1888. So originally, INYA has, has no memory installed into it. No? But in 1953, a 100 word magnetic Core memory was built by Barrows Corporation added to INYAC. So it's now like it's now like a smaller version of the analytical engine. Because the analytical engine can store 1,000 words of decim of uh, decimal numbers, no? INYAC is a decimal computer. Okay? Digital ito, but it's decimal, no? It uses a 10 position ring counter counter to, to store digits. What's a ring counter? It's just a magnetic device. So instead of using uh, ingress axis 1, ingress axis 2, or ingress axis, tatlo lang yung, there are only three registers no, or counters in the analytical engine. INYAC uses 10. Okay? 10 counters used to be ano, used for the calculation. So there is now there are now more variables to be or rather internal variables to be used. No. So it had 20 10 digit signed accumulators. What's an accumulator? Now this is the legacy of INYAC, no? The concept of an accumulator. <clears throat> Anyone? Anyone? So what is an accumulator? This is very important to remember, no? Because we will be using the term again later, no? Remember that 
no in the design of charles babbage no there are two different registers used ingress and egress diba ingress is used for input and egress is used for output exclusively right so the inventors of inya Vesper Eckert and Mokli changed this. No? Instead of using dedicated registers or counters, they use general purpose registers and they call them accumulator. An accumulator is a register which can be used both for input and output. No? In other words, it can also be used for ingress and egress at the same time. Do you follow? Do you follow? Here's a brief comparison of the analytic, analytical engine and INYAC. Yung analytical engine uses Jacquard's looms with punch card. INYAC uses a modern version, uses an IBM punch card for input and output. Okay? The processing unit of the analytical engine uses three registers, no? Two ingress and one egress. Okay? Uh, ten digit, 20 pala, no? Pero ten digit accumulators. Okay? So... The INYAC uses 20 accumulators, no, not 10, but 20 accumulators. Each is 10 digits, no. 20 10 digit accumulators. Yung kay charge by Babbage is how many? Uh, there are three three registers, each of which can have 20 digits. Do you follow? Kasi charge Babbage intended it to be 40. No. So 20 accumulators, each of which is used both for ingress and egress. Do you follow? The number system being used are common, not both. Fixed point decimal. So you see, the analytical engine resembles the, uh, rather, the INYAC resembles the analytical engine. The main difference is INYAC uses electricity. Okay, while the analytical engine is mechanical. We are trying to point that out because, uh, you know, Alan Turing made a comment on this, no? Okay, the programming is very similar. Na? Uh, in the analytical engine, the program is stored sequentially on punch cards and loaded through the jacquard loom. However, no, dito sa no, they are using plug boards, connecting wires and plug boards in the INYAC. The programmer is Countess Ada Lovelace, Ada Agosta King. And these are the, the, no, no, the programmers of, no, of INYAC, all women, a team of women doing the programming. Okay, the hardware was on, only partially in, implemented for the analytical engine. The INYAC has 18,000 vacuum tubes, no? 1,500 relays. A relay is uh, like a transistor, no? 10,000 capacitors and 70,000 resistors. And it occupies a 1,800 square foot, a very big, large room. The inventor for the analytical engine was Charles W. Babbage in 1837. J. Presper Eckert and John Mockley invented it, the INYAC, in 1946. Moore School of Engineering, Pennsylvania State University. They follow. So now we are trying to, to demonstrate the evolution. Diba? There are similarities between the INYAC and the analytical engine, both of them being fixed point decimal and using registers. The INYAC uses 20 registers. The analytical engine uses three. Okay? Do you follow? So actually, the INYAC is just an electronic version of the analytical engine with the main introduction of the accumulator. Do you follow? Now, before we proceed, no, uh, let's look at the... Anal the, the, the no. Kasi may release si Alan Turing in 1950s because during that time, uh, there were three contenders for developing the first computer. No? Tatlong contenders. Yung uh, uh, si Atanas of Berry for the ABC computer and there was Presper Eckhart and Mokley for the INYAC and EDVAC and there was John Van Neumann for the IAS. Okay? They were claiming to be the first inventors. Do you follow? Okay, so Alan Turing criticized them. This is what Alan Turing said. <coughs> okay, asan ba ito sa ACM release of 1950? ACM is still around, no? Ito yung criticis, crit, uh, criticism. This is a criticism by Alan Turing. 
the idea of the digital computer is an old one. Okay? Sabi niya, because the three teams, no? three different groups were claiming to be introducing a new technology. Di ba? Sabi nila, this is, our new, this, is our, this is a new computer. Okay? This is a new technology. So Alan Turing, who invented the bomb, by the way, no? criticized them. The idea of a digital computer is an old one. Ha? Huh? Sabi niya, luma na yan. Huwag kayong maging mayabang because luma na yan sinasabi niyo. Okay? Charles Babbage, who is a location professor at, of mathematics at Cambridge University, planned such a machine. Sabi niya, okay, uh, do not claim anything because it was already invented in 1839 at Cambridge University. Called the analytical engine. Although it was never computed. Now, furthermore, ito yung sabi niya, no? Although Babbage had all the essential ideas, this machine was not at the same time such a very attractive prospect. Okay? Hindi na appreciate, no? The speed which would have been available would be definitely faster than a human computer. Okay? The speed by which the analytical engine could do computations will be faster than doing it by hand, no? But something like 100 times lower than the Man Manchester machine. Anong Manchester machine? Yung Manchester baby, which de was developed after the bomb. Do you follow? Diba? Yung Manchester baby, na, no? din developed sa UK, which is a predecessor of the bomb, the machine which uh, Alan Turing and his team invented to hack Enigma, Enigma machines. Na? Do you follow? The storage was purely mechanical using wheels and cards. No? The fact that Babbage analytical engine was to be entirely mechanical and will help us read to ourselves of a superstition. Diba? Because it's entirely mechanical, there's no magic. No? Sabi niya, no? It can be traced physically. No? Okay. Importance is often attached to the fact that modern computers are electrical. Diba? Sabi niya, sometimes we attribute so much importance because it's electrical. Yeah? And that the nervous system is also electrical, the human mind. Since Babbage machine was not electrical and since all digital computers are in a sense equivalent, he showed it mathematically, no? by the way, that all computers are the same. Okay? Mathematically, they're called the Turing machines. No? We see that issues of electricity cannot be of the theoretical importance. And sabi niya, it's not just theoretical importance because it's just a modern improvement. No? The use of electricity usually comes in fast signaling as concerned. It just improves the speed. No? So that is not sur surprising that we find it in both of these connections. No? The feature of using electricity is thus then to be only a very superficial similarity. Sabi niya, it's just a superficial similarity. Okay, if you wish to find such similarities, we should look at rather for mechanical mathematical analogies of the function. The design is the most important part. No, that was Alan Turing's criticism of uh, ABC computer, INIAC and INIAC and the NVAC, no, and uh, and uh, the IAS. Okay, we follow. And shortly after, by the way, no. Alan Turing died. <laughs> That's a sad story, no? Do you follow? Now, before we proceed to that uh, controversial issue of the claim to who invented the first electronic uh, digital computer, do you follow? Let's just look at the life of the story of Alan Turing. Okay? Hanggang anong oras ba tayo dito? Sobra tayo last time, di ba? 9-10. You have 10 minutes, no? Who is Alan Turing? Anyone? Alan Turing is a mathematician from also from Cambridge University who went to the US to take his PhD. And he, he has done his PhD in, uni, in Princeton University almost at the same time that John Van Neumann was teaching there. No? If follow nag about sila ni John Van Neumann. Okay. Jan Van Neumann is another figure. Hindi ko alam yung spelling, no? Jan Van Neumann. Okay. 
Hungarian, Hungarian mathematician who taught mathematics at the at Princeton University. Kailan siya nagturo? I'd like to look at, no? Kailan siya nagturo, no? Okay. Hindi nakasulat dito. Physician and mathematician and computer scientist, no? Si John Van Neumann. We look at him anyway, no? Okay. So Alan Turing is a, is a British mathematician who studied mathematics at Cape Bridge University and did his PhD in the Department of Mathematics at Princeton University. Okay, let's look at John Van Neumann and Princeton para maklaro natin yung time, no? Nineteen thirty to nineteen forty two. Okay. Dito si Jan Van Neumann was a lecturer on quantum theory at Princeton University. Okay, from nineteen thirty to nineteen thirty three. Okay, before the war, and Alan Turing was a PhD university in nineteen thirty eight. Tiba, alus nagabot sila, no? He obtained his uh, ano, university PhD degree in 1948. Okay. Now, what was the research? What what was the contribution of Alan Turing to computing technology? Anyone? He invented the first model, no? Mathematical computational models, no? In fact, he claimed that all computers can be described by his compute by his machine. It's called the Turing machine. It's a it's a graphical representation of how computers work. No, you follow. Now, more importantly, he was known to be a, a, a code breaker. No, siya yung naghak ng Enigma machine ng Enigma machine. Okay. During the early early point in the war, no? Second World War, 1939, uh, he was hired by the British government together with the team to work at the Bleachley Park. This is the British Code Breaking Center. Ito yung Bleachley Park. Oh. Buckinghamshire, the principal area. All they did was to figure out the messages sent by German Nazi so, uh, soldiers, no? in the in the war in the battleground okay so alan turing in a way broke or hacked the enigma machine okay. he is known to be the first uh, uh no uh, encryption no? the father of modern encryption and decryption they how how does it work so kasi nakita ni ano ni, ni Alan Turing that uh, there's a kasi ganito yan when you use the enigma machine no you are going to set a code that will be used to replace the, the, the original letter okay and the let the code the output of a coded character will never repeat in the enigma machine okay do you follow and Alan Turing noticed this property that since no character repeats, they will be able to decipher the message because the German messages always start with good morning, good day, like that. no? And they were able to decipher using their own algorithms. And in order to hasten their computations, they used a computer called the BAM. It was improved by Alan Turing so that they can hasten the calculation or the uh, hacking of the German messages. No? Do you follow? So they were the first, no? one of the first contributors to ACM, which is now the accepted no? platform for uh, 
computing technology no for publishing uh no researches in computing technology ACM automatic computing engine uh, machinery no? okay okay so theoretically Alan Turing invented the computer no? because he created computing models okay to okay to describe the behavior of uh, binary computers do you follow any questions so far Alan Turing is a very important figure no in computing no Some Nick Mulvaney oh, uh, no, no. manufactured. I'd like you to look at this video again. How the Enigma machine works. No, we'll not go. We're not going to do go through that anymore. But I'd like you to uh, appreciate no the work of Alan Turing. No? Now, Alan Turing was a misunderstood person. No. He was mis a misunderstood person. Why? Because he has a different gender preference. During those times, no, 1940s, no, and, and a different gender preference is considered to be a crime. Do you follow? Okay. He was persecuted in 1952 for homosexual acts. No, it's called a violation of decency. Do you follow? He accepted hormone treatments to correct because that was the practice during the time, no. And since he cannot, I know, accept such a humiliation, no, for being, uh, know, accused of indecency, he took his own life on June 7, 1954, by taking cyanide. Okay. However, you no. Know, on, on nine, in 2009, Prime Minister Gordon Brown made an, a, a push, a, an official public apology on behalf of the British government. The appalling way Turing was treated. No? So at the same time, Queen Elizabeth granted the posthumous pardon. No, the pardon, but in 2013, all those who were filed on, and, uh, and persecuted for indecency are now pardoned. Okay? Do you follow? Pero wala na, no? So many people have been convicted. All those who have been convicted of uh, indecency are now pardoned. And the indecency law was abolished, no? Do you follow? Nowadays, you cannot be sued in court because you are an LGBT. Do you follow? And they attributed uh, a bank note Released in June, June 20, 20, 9, June 20, 2021, no? attributing the birthday of uh, Alan Turing. Okay. Do you follow? Alan Turing is acc accredited to be the main source of the victory of the Second World War in Europe. No. Do you follow? Okay. Now. Uh, 2020 by 2019, no? BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation, no? made a research on who they think is believed to be the greatest person of the 20th century. Do you follow? So there are, no? they made a research. No? So these are the leaders, no? Nelson Mandela, in the different fields. No? <clears throat> we have Margaret Thatcher, Winston Charter, explorers, no? These are the candidates and scientists who are the no. There, there's Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Alan Turing, and two you 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 Chinese no for accredit the malaria, malaria vaccine. Albert Einstein for the theory of relativity, and then Marie Curie for the radium discovering radium, and then Alan Turing for the code breaker, no. And then <coughs> the result was, <coughs> I'm sorry, Alan Turing was awarded the greatest person in the 20th century 1900s no so there's there's the uh, video 
May follow. Even better, you can watch the video, okay? Do you follow? Next meeting, we look at the design of the INIAC and the design of the IAS, programming the IAS, no? And then fourth factorial, okay, and others, okay? It's about time to end our session, okay? <coughs> I'm sorry, no? Question so far? Did I miss anyone? So your assignment, no? June, Monday? You know how to pass it? Do you know how to pass assignments in Daigler? Or in Moodle? It's easy, no? You just click and then it will guide you. Okay? Bye, everyone. And good morning. Everyone. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Bye, sir. Thank you, 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 sir. Thank you